Hi, my name is Grace Byers with The Blackening, and I'm here with AV Club. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to live, okay? If, if it's up to me to live in a horror film, I'm finna live. I will hide wherever necessary. I will run. I will climb trees. Listen, I will develop skills that I do not have in order to survive, okay? I, I will, I don't, I can't swim. I will be swimming. I will be floating. I will be swimming. I will do what it takes to live, period, period. Well, before I probably would have said comedy, but the blackening kind of makes me change my mind a little bit because all of it is a, is a kind of feeding your adrenaline. So there's something really fun about the jump scary parts and then laughing as well. So I don't know. I think if there were more films like The Blackening out there that married the two really well, that might, that might be my new genre. My hope is that it opens up another door for people of color. I, I think particularly black people, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, um, the industry start to look at the different ways in which we can purvey art. Um, I think that a lot of times we see the same pieces of art um, just across the board done again and again, right? So we see lots of remakes, we see lots of sequels of the same stuff, we see a lot of those things. And, you know, I, I would just love for the industry to be able to continue to widen the gamut for artists of color and just to see what we can do to, you know, break, you know, stereotypes, to break ceilings um, and to really, you know, be able to not feel limited in the kind of art that we, that we, that we do and to show that there's an audience for that, right? There's an audience. If you're telling the truth um, from a very honest core in your art, um, there, is, there is such an audience for that and I hope that we can be more innovative in the way we think. That was a very, you know, that was a very interesting time because it was my very first television role. And so, you know, a big part of me really wanted to get it right, right? And so, you know, I played a little bit, um, but I think I was really just focused on bringing to her what, uh, what she, bringing to her what needed to fill in the bigger picture, right? So it's like she, she, Anika Calhoun fulfilled a part of that bigger picture. And looking back, I think that I probably would have played a lot more in a lot of different ways. Um, but super happy with, you know, the way that we created her and the ways in which I really tried to keep her honest and um, fight for her as a character. And so, yeah, that was, that was a fun time. <laughs>